about 9% of the world actually achieve their New Year's resolutions and their New Year's goals. Multi-billion dollar businesses that are designed to keep you in that 91% that fails. We're going to go through some hard questions. Think about 2023. How would you rate mind? How would you rate your soul? This is the year of change. This is the year we're going to do something about it. What do you want? Literally anything. Nothing is wrong. Now, I want to actually help you make this actionable, okay? Today, I want to do a brief introduction for some of you guys maybe don't know me yet, who are not in our LMP community. My name is Marjet. Most people call me yet. I'm from a small town in the Netherlands with a lot of cows and a lot of nice, beautiful land and farms. And uh, I worked at a garden center, actually, for about... I would say like six, seven years, very long time. That's me there in my garden clothes. And then after that, I studied a business bachelor, actually uh, hospitality management. I worked after that Hilton corporate in the UK, in London. Um, that was not for me, really in an office with, uh, in a basement with no light, no windows. So then I decided that I wanted freedom and I started my journey in uh, the online world and I became a digital freelancer. Now, fast forward, I've scaled those same digital skills into a marketing agency, into courses, into coaching programs, all with the same digital skills that I started with. I think it's so important that we set goals and we reset and we really are conscious about what we're going to do with this new year that's coming. That's why we're going to talk about why 91% of the people fail their new year's resolution. Then I want to dive into reflection of 2023 and then go into 2024 goal setting. Okay. Then at the end, as I said, we're going to reveal the prize winner. And then we're also going to give you guys the worksheet so that you on your own, you can continue yourself, everything that we are talking about today. You might have already have some new year's resolutions in your mind as you probably do every year you have already some goals some ideas that you've been thinking about one of them could be you want to make six figures right you want to make a hundred thousand dollars one could be that maybe you want to hit the gym you want to get a six pack or a bikini body you know these are very common goals or maybe you've set the goal that you want to journal more or meditate and while all of these goals are great right? They sound amazing. Reality here is only about 9% of the world actually achieve their New Year's resolutions and their New Year's goals. So 91% of people who set New Year resolutions, they are not going to achieve it. And I'm saying this and I'm stating it so blunt because I want you to understand the severity of it because it's a really big problem and it's a problem that's only increasing in over the years that are coming. You say 2024 is going to be your year. Oh, this year, I'm finally going to do it. Finally going to make that leap. Finally going to make that change. But if you really think back, a lot of us have said this probably every year, right? Every single year in a row. And like I said, statistics don't lie. Most people will actually not <laughs> make 2024 their year again, you know? One thing I have to tell you is that it is not your fault. There are massive corporations out there, multi-billion dollar businesses that are designed actually to keep you in that 91% that fails, right? These social media platforms, they are out there to get us because they just want one thing from us. They won't stop until they have all of you guys' attention. That is what their algorithms are designed to do, to keep you scrolling, to keep you on your phone. They will not stop until they have your attention, until they have you hooked. And they, these platforms will keep making their algorithms in a way to keep you scrolling. You cannot focus on everything at the same time. It's impossible. How is it even possible if you're scrolling that you're also achieving your goals, right? You can't do those two things at the same time. And there's actually a really shocking research that 46.9% of our waking hours, we are thinking about other stuff than that we're actually doing. We are always distracted. We're in a constant state of distraction. And definitely social media and these platforms is such a, such a big part of that, right? So that's half of your day. And according to the research and the statistics, if we keep going at this rate that we're going now with the scrolling, with how much time we spend on these apps, we're gonna be one third of our lives on our phone. And I think that you guys can agree with me that probably the goals that you have in life, they're not they're, that it's not to be a professional scroller, right? It's not to be a professional phone addict. 
that that's not gonna get you the life that you want. So this is very important to realize. Who catches themselves actually scrolling during the day? Maybe when you wake up, before you go to bed, you know? That you're sometimes like, fuck, I have so much to do, but you know, ah, oh, I wish I would have spent this time, you know, doing something. I think so many of us, right? And it's so true, even me. And, and I can tell you guys, if we don't change this, we are not going to achieve our goals. <laughs> it's as simple as that, you know, because if you spend that much time on your phone, then it's obviously impossible to be with your head and your mind and your presence somewhere else. The thing is, you're not only letting yourself down by doing this, you're letting down your family, your friends, the people who are maybe counting on your success. Hell, your bloodline, right? The people who come after you. Because imagine if you achieve the goals that you want to achieve, what's that going to change for your family? friends, partner, you know, your kids. So this is something we have to take very, very serious. And the change needs to happen today. Are you going to be part of that 91% that fails every year? Or are you going to make a conscious decision today, right? That you want to be part of that 9% that is actually going to crush it. And that's a decision you have to make right now, you know? And you have to keep yourself accountable to right now. See this as the start of stopping that habit, the start of actually this year following through on your new year's resolutions. It's time for the notebook. So I hope that you have it in front of you guys. Pen, paper, let's go. The first thing we are going to do right now, we're going to go through some hard questions. They're not necessarily nice questions, but you know, we're here to make a change. So I want you to write down the answers to these questions. And for now, you can just do it in bullet points. You can just do it briefly, okay? We don't have to spend a lot of time on this. You can really expand on it later. But the first question is, what is one big you overcame, but one big thing you overcame in 2023, right? What is one big thing that you're like, whoa, that was a big huddle, that was a big challenge, but you know what? I actually overcame that. Write that down, you know, think about that. Write it down. I'll give you guys some time. Second question is, what would you like to leave behind in 2023? This is things like ha bad habits, right? What would you like to leave behind in 2023? Be hard on yourself. Really think about it. Number three is what surprised you this year? It can be about yourself, a situation, how you handle something. Or like I said, if maybe you didn't achieve a certain goal. And then a fun question, who was the most important person in your life in 2023? Now we're going to do something super cool. So I hope that you have some drawing skills. If not, it's okay. So you can draw either a circle or an egg, if you like, uh, any circular form, right? doesn't have to be perfect, but draw a circle, please. And then what I want you to do, you're going to add 10 lines to it. Okay, so I want 10 pies, basically doesn't have to be super perfect but just try to make 10 lines within the circle so that we have 10 parts the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to write these um, words above them wheel of life okay this is divided in specific categories um, that are summarizing some of the most essential things of life uh, body also talking about health right um, mind talking about mental health so these are uh, general subjects about our life, right? Now what I want you guys to do, and that might be a bit confronting, this is not to shame you, this is not to make you upset, but again, you know, change needs to happen. We're gonna get a bit uncomfortable. So I want you now to rate each area of your life. Think about 2023. How would you rate mind? How would you rate your soul? How would you rate your health, body, mission, money? How would you rate these categories? If we look at 2023, okay? And what I did, like the lower the number, I wrote it closer to the core. The higher the number, I wrote it closer to the outside of the circle, right? Okay, this is my example. <laughs> so I can say that romance is definitely one which is okay um you know but uh money i'm really good you know have a lot of money body and health therefore seven is good but definitely you know 2023 could be a bit better so yeah just really think critical you know don't rate it everything like perfect because uh you know it looks nice but really think 
and and think about some reasons why in your head you know why do i rate this that number what you can do with this circle you can basically just fill up you know towards the number so like i said if it's a one that part of the pie is not really full if it's a nine that means that that part of the pie is pretty full and then when, once you've done this you do have a really nice circle now and kind of like a radar chart where you can easily see you can zoom out and say okay what can we do with this guys we can see specific sections of our life that we would like to focus on more for the new year right because in 2023 if we reflect on it they need the most uh they need the most work so yeah let me know if you guys have done this or uh if you don't have markers all good as well and uh, yeah for me also friends it's kind of half half because i had some lonely time and i thought that was a lot of people right uh, and now I found some new friends that I'm still assessing, but definitely that's, uh, yeah, that's something in 2023 that didn't go that great for me. Um, you know, a lot of lonely seasons and times and, uh, something definitely to work on. Yeah. I also want you to be critical here and a good example, of course, for many people on this call, um, if you are still in a nine to five, right. And one of your goals is to leave your nine to five, to have laptop lifestyle, become high ticket freelancer, work online, da da da. Then be real with yourself. What does working in a nine to five, what did it do to you in 2023? Did you see your friends a lot? Did you see your family a lot? Like, does it fulfill your soul? What did it do to your mental health? You know, like, like really think about that, you know? How do you really feel? If all of these areas were tense, which means the circle would be fully colored, that means that in these areas, we felt that we had a lot of progress in 2023, because I'm never talking about perfection, right? But it just means that you feel like, okay, there was a lot of progress that year in this area, that there's balance, but also that you are really enjoying that part, right? That means it when it's 100% full. I want you to now circle the areas that you feel like stand out to you. So which of these areas do you feel like, okay, this one on the radar, you know, that, that needs uh, probably a bit more attention in the new year compared to 2023. And which area did you really struggle with in 2023 and circle those. I want to tell you guys this was something about even some of the students on this call of our program. In 2022, some of these students, they were struggling with areas of their life, right? Such as working a nine to five that drains their body. Some people were fired. Some people had horrible situations in 2022. And on the last call that we did, right, one year ago, where we also reflected, they all set a goal and they all looked at their life just like you guys are doing now. They made their circle and they looked at their life and they were like, yeah, no more, you know? This is the year of change. This is the year we're gonna do something about it. And they took action fully and in one year time, their life looked different, you know, actually their circles, the colors were totally different. They were fuller and they achieved the things that they wanted to achieve. Right. So just to say that this is a very powerful exercise and that we have to look inwards to be able to make progress in life. We now had some questions about 2023. We've looked at our circle, right? We identified the areas that definitely, you know, were maybe a bit painful even in 2023 and that need some, that need some loving. So what I think we should do now, guys, is we should let go of 2023, right? We keep it in mind for our goals, but we're going to let go. We're going to leave the things that you just mentioned, right? That you want to leave behind. We're going to leave them behind, right? And we're going to start afresh. So what I want to do now is a breathing exercise, okay? And I want you guys to all do it. So we're going to breathe in through our nose and then we're going to breathe out through our mouth, right? And we're going to do it for five times. So I want you to sit with me and think in your head about the things you just wrote down that you want to let go. Okay. And we're going to let that go in 2023. So let's go. Okay. Let's go. Breathing in, holding it, holding it and out. Okay, we're gonna breathe in. Hold it. Letting it out, right? Keep 
could even make a sound if you breathe out. It's very powerful. Holding. Okay, one last one. All out. Right. Cool. So the things we're going to leave that behind in 2023, but we're going to use these things to now design our 2024. There is two parts. We are a human being, right? All of us are most likely human beings. And we have two parts. We have our subconscious being and we have a conscious being. What does that mean? Our subconscious being is our mind, our soul. It's something very deep. It's always working. It's always there. We can influence it with so many things, yet it runs without us running it, right? And then we have the conscious being, which is the doing, right? Which is you being on this earth, you sitting now, listening to me. That's all a conscious decision that you are making. But while we're doing these conscious activities, we are reprogramming our subconscious as well. And our subconscious where it works when we sleep, when we are just thinking about nothing. It works all the time in so many mysterious and beautiful ways. And there are a few things that we have to do to reprogram that and only thinking in the conscious of I have to do this I have to do that I have to do that you could have so many subconscious blockages and limiting beliefs and reprogrammed things from childhood from culture from um, you know so many different things things that you heard things that you have been told that we have to break down first before we can actually take action and take aligned action with our subconscious. So setting goals for success, what we are gonna do, we're first gonna go do some things that are for our subconscious mind to open our mind to possibilities, to open our mind to our potential, to what we can be, to what we can become. Then we're going to match that with of course, conscious action and a plan, the more logical side. But I strongly believe that we need both in order to be able to achieve the goals and our true potential, right? You guys with me? Does it make sense? Cool. Awesome. Okay. So it's beautiful triangle. We're going to start with the subconscious. And like I said, there's, there's so much that goes so, so, so deep into this. And, and we do a lot of mindset and, and reprogramming things in our program as well, right? In laptop lifestyle master program. Um, and we're going to touch now on a few things here that I think are really going to help. The first thing I'm going to tell you is that you deserve everything and anything you have ever wanted. That is so important to hear. You deserve anything and everything you've ever wanted, you've ever thought about. And here's why. You can hear me right now. We're, we're right. You're listening to me. You're watching me. You're sitting. You chose to be on this earth, right? You're so special, you know, and you were 100%. Doesn't matter who says it, whether one God created us, whether that God is named God or Allah, whether it's 10 gods, whether it's, you know, <laughs> a cow God, whether it's, it's, it can be universe, it can be big boom, it doesn't matter. But whatever created us as a human being didn't want us to do things we hate. I don't believe that. I, I don't believe that we were put on this earth to work jobs, to basically yeah, be in the matrix, to, to just go to work every day and do the same and come back and feel exhausted and hate our life. And I do not believe that we were created for that purpose. It is not possible because we're not robots, right? We just discussed that we are human beings. Okay. And you have, you have the ability to think guys. Do you even understand that? You have the ability of a brain. You are put on this earth with a brain to think, to have desires, to have goals, to love things, to enjoy the smell, to enjoy the taste, right? Whereas if you were a rock, 
you can't do those things <laughs> so it is so special that you are here okay that's the first thing you have to know it's so special that you are here and anything that you ever want or felt it's valid you know so diving into what we're going to do now i want us to make a wish list see this like you're at a restaurant and you have an endless appetite and it's all free order whatever you want right and this is one thing with manifestation we have to ask for things you know and you shouldn't be afraid to ask for things so i have these categories that i always create manifestations and wishes for so i want you to write down these categories and for each category make a few bullet points what comes into your mind just some brainstorming here what do you want literally anything nothing is wrong whatever is in your mind whatever you're craving whatever you're feeling like what would that look like what do you want what would make you happy what do you want to try right and let's take a few moments to do this and i'm going to put on my list in case you want some inspiration okay um but yeah take some time to do this i'll give you guys a few minutes and let me know when you're done okay and of course this is an endless list you can for the whole week you can start adding more things to it right but maybe try to find like five to ten things per category okay but what i want you to do now is um that we're going to make on pinterest i call it the lulu wish board okay so this is not a vision board yet right this is not yet a vision board this is just again all the things that you just wrote down your wish list doesn't matter what's on there find some images for it and i'll pin it to a new board on pinterest called uh wish board okay multiple pictures for one topic you know just pin and like i said i spent like an hour doing this so i think this is a perfect activity for the last day of the year you know uh or for tomorrow or today when you have our worksheet i explain it more but just literally add things to this board you know and pinterest an app on your phone or laptop make a new board call it wish board and start adding the images that resonate with actually um, the wish list that you made right because we need to visualize it we need to see it because when we see it we can imagine better how it feels what it would look like and then again we can speak it into our existence because thoughts become things right so that's a really good one to do you can also add some quotes or things that in general just resonate with the things you want to achieve so for me i have like there's some charity here breathwork yoga podcast dinner with families forbes 30 on the 30 podcast like this is just a snapshot but mine is very long <laughs> i'll share mine with you guys as well uh, so you can have a look but yeah that's what you're gonna do that's the first step and then now this is what you can do right now you can start to circle which things you feel like have the most importance to solve in 2024 like what is something that you're like okay if i do that that probably if i got this wish that probably caterpillars or sorry caterpillars like catapults <laughs> caterpillars can also join but that catapults are my you know some other things of my list right like for me healing my gut health is going to fix my skin is going to fix my bloating make me more productive probably skyrockets my business because i feel better so like that would be like the first wish that i would like to ask aladdin you know or whoever came out of the lamp that person if i could make a wish that would be the first thing i would fix you know um and then some other things which are like most important for me right now that i would like to achieve so yeah make some circles that would be awesome and then what we're gonna do so we had a wish board we now have some of the bigger priorities so now we can start to make a vision board okay and again this is going to be hard to do on the call together but i'm just going to walk you through the process and with the worksheet you can definitely do this right after the call or tomorrow before the new year starts so first of all from pinterest you can easily then download the images that you resonate with most so now you can scroll through your delulu list select the ones that are most important select the ones that you feel like oh, this gives me that feeling of like yes i want that that's what i mean when i wrote this that's what i mean download them and then you can sign up to canva and actually we have a link where you get 30 days for free so it would be great i think irene you can drop it in the chat um so if you don't have canva account yet you can sign up 
you get 30 days pro for free but it's a great designing tool actually um, that helps you make really great vision boards and things and then you can start to design this vision board and also to make it easier for you guys there's two ways to do it number one is, is like this so you basically design it yourself like the layout okay um so you can just put pictures on top of each other then for people who are maybe not that design savvy i also have made templates for you guys that are that are going to be in the worksheet later okay so this is one template which is for your laptop and uh desktop background and then one that's for your phone background okay so if you use these templates it's super easy because then you have the right format for your phone right you just have to drag and drop the images in basically yeah irene just dropped the link to canva in case you don't you guys don't have it yet um so these links will be in the worksheet so now the pictures you resonate with the most drop them in and then i also have two sections where you can write down some benefit and some things you want to manifest some of the topics of your 2024 year and then now guys now you have a really you made your wish board you know your wish list into wish board and now we have a vision board which really aligns with our priorities with what we want to achieve the feeling we want to get when we achieve those things um it can be locations can be right the things that you feel like yes these are the things i want to achieve the most uh that i wish for that's a very fun creative thing so now we have done right if we have if you finish this you have the tools to manifest to attract and to literally order to the universe what you want and you're gonna have it on your laptop background i want you to print it put it on your fridge put it in your room phone background you're gonna see this vision board every day and when you see it think about how it would feel to get those things this is how we are gonna reprogram our subconscious to know that you deserve those things they are for you you wished for them you ordered them they're on the way right that's what we're doing here reprogramming the subconscious to be ready to receive now this is a big thing to know i believe in manifestation all of that however this is a big however it doesn't just work without action it does not because you can manifest it and we order it to new universe the universe might then or gods right it, it, totally fine what you believe in you order it to someone they will start to give you signs they will start to bring opportunities but it's up to you to then take action and grab it with both hands right that's up to you so manifestation without action is is nothing so first yes we have to reprogram our mind to be able to receive it to see the signs right because if you didn't even believe that it could be for you you will miss all the signs that someone is sending all the opportunities you will not even realize it's for you now you know it's coming right because i ordered it so now if I see something related to it, I know that that was the sign that was meant for me that is putting me, you know, in the right direction. I should go for it. Okay. So <clears throat> the next step is the conscious, the action part, the part where we have to actually do something with those opportunities. Okay. So again, here are people who also had no idea that they could become freelancers they had no idea that it was even possible to quit their nine to five to earn more than they were earning before and to travel the world to work with clients they love you know they didn't know it was possible but because they made vision boards because they after that took action more importantly and worked their asses off right that is why they achieved what they achieved so super powerful we need to subconscious and now we need to make conscious action so many people have done it before you and so can you right okay now i'm going to do a rewiring about ability versus capacity so ability so your ability is the glass here the top glass it's a little bit you know it's a little layer your ability is your current skills plus what you know you want to achieve. What you know you want to achieve. So it's probably something that you think you're capable of. Hmm, sounds a bit boring. Now we have capacity. Capacity is the potential of what you could become and it's things that you haven't even considered that they were for you. You didn't even know they were possible right 
Maybe no one in your surroundings, no friends, no family has ever done these things, right? Let's say you are a nine to five, probably your friends and family, you know, they, they are not doing the things that you have the potential to do because you are on this call, right? <laughs> you know what I teach, you know what I do. So you already have something in your mind that you're like, wait a minute, there's something more to life. I don't have to work a nine to five. But maybe your friends family don't support it necessarily so you don't see it you don't even believe know it's possible yet for you however it is you have the potential you have the capacity within you to go to that level that you want to achieve to achieve those goals okay so you guys have all heard about smart goals right who has heard about small we, ha we had to do this in university or high school guys raise your hand smart goals yeah it's a great way to keep us st stuck in our ability, right? Because you have to be specific, measurable, it has to be attainable, it has to be relative, and then the time needs to be... Yeah, that's really great. But that is working within your ability, within the skills that you have now, right? Because otherwise it wasn't achievable. <laughs> so bad, it's so bad that we get taught this stuff, you know? Honestly, it is. We're gonna create wild goals, okay? Not smart, nobody needs smart goals. We're not basic. <laughs> we wanna create wild goals. That is for entrepreneurs, for the person who thinks outside the box, for the person who wants to achieve more in their life, okay? That works with capacity, with where you can go. You don't even know it yet. So, let's go. Wild, the W. Stands for, you have to be willing to absolutely suck at it. You have to be willing to really look like a clown. You have to be willing to really suck at it and be really bad at it, okay? Then the I, you have to let it be impossible, right? Because it, it shouldn't feel possible because if it feels possible is within your ability, not within your capacity, right? And then the L is for let it be easy, as in like, you know, it really doesn't have to be that hard. You can find people who have done it before you, you can learn from them. Even though you have, you don't have the skill yet, it doesn't have to be hard, it can still be easy. And then the D is do it for fun. So thinking about this goal should feel like, oh, this would be cool to do, you know? Like I would love to do and be on that journey, you know? So. It's going to be a good goal, guys, if it is wild. Does that make... Do you guys understand? So you you think about the goal. It has to be wild. It has to be... You have to be willing to suck at it. Because it's not in your skills yet. Doesn't matter. Let it be impossible. It should sound impossible. Let it be easy. Let it flow. Let it come to you. And do it because it sounds like a fun thing to achieve. All right? Then it's going to be a good goal. So... Now, I want you guys to write out a wild goal, all right? So from your bullet list, maybe one that you found is most important, one main goal you want to focus on, write out that wild goal. And just remember, again, it has to, you have to be willing to be bad at it, has to be impossible, sound impossible, but it can be easy and you have to do it because it sounds like a fun thing to do. So an example definitely is, like I said, if you are nine to five, I wrote down the example, I want to become a high ticket freelancer making 5k per month so I can live the laptop lifestyle, travel the world, spend more time with family, make my own schedule and finally be happy. Or I can live in Curacao or I can live in Bali or I can go to cafes every day, drink coconut, do a little bit of work, then go to the gym, adopt a puppy, like literally like make it as crazy as you want, make it as wild as you want, right? What does this wild goal look like for you? And try to really cut ties with what other people around you are saying. Actually use that as fuel. If they say it's impossible, it's probably perfect. Right? What I'm doing now, what I was doing as a freelancer, of course, that looks impossible to me, what I'm doing now, right? So it's a good goal, you know? I never thought this was possible years ago if you told me that this is where I am now I would have been like definitely not you know I wouldn't have believed you so that's a good call 
right? Same now, like it's a bit the Lulu that I think I can be in Forbes 30 under 30, but that's why it's a perfect wild goal, you know? Perfect, that's the perfect goal. TEDx speaker, okay, sure, let's do it, you know? Now, I want to actually help you make this actionable, okay, right? Um, so we have this wild goal, awesome. So this goal is gonna be your year goal, right? So that's easy, that's gonna be your year goal. Now, how are we gonna make sure we achieve it? With conscious action. So what you have to do, you have to make sure that um, to achieve that year goal, right? That wild goal, you need to do something in six months time. So now from January until June, January until June, you have to have completed something, right? To obviously be on track to achieve the year goal. So you're just going to half it. Just try to half your wild goal. What would be half of that? You know, it can be an amount, right? I'm going to pop up the example here. So let's say in one year time, you want to become high ticket freelancer, and make three to five K per month. That means in six months time, it would probably be great if you lend the two clients at a certain amount, right? Half of it. Keep it simple. You know, for me, for my TEDx thing, it uh, definitely means that within six months, I need to have a stage confirmed, you know, 100%. I need to have a stage confirmed before June where I'm going to speak because you need to confirm that stuff early. So I know that. Then once you have that six months, right, what do I need to achieve from, Ju from January to June? Now we're going to think about three months. So what do I need to do in three months to achieve half of the six months goal? So we're going to half it again. So from January until March, what do I need to have completed, right? So in this example, um, from January, you can start now with Love to Life, so master program, then you have finished your program, you have landed three beta clients, and then you're on pace, right? You've made your first income, your first high ticket clients, you're on pace to then achieve the six month goal. We're going to break it down further. So what do I need to do in January to achieve one third? of the three month goal. Okay, so I guess finishing the program, so that means modules zero to four need to be finished, right? For my TEDx goal, it needs to be that definitely my um, my pitch needs to be ready. I need to have videos out about the topic so people can fact check and see my expertise and what I'm gonna talk about, right? Now we have one month, now we're gonna look. January. So what, what do I have to do week by week to achieve this goal? Okay. So again, simple. That means that in that week I have to finish module zero and one. Because if I finish module zero and one, then it means in one month I finish zero to four. That means in three months I finish the whole thing. That means bomb. That's how we do it. And then you break it down to day. So then now on a Monday you think, okay. What can I do today to get a step closer to achieve this week goal? So that could be, yeah, if it's about the program, could be work on module zero, finish these lessons. For me, it could be prepare the script for the YouTube video about my TED talk. Okay, I prepare the script and in week two, I'm gonna record it. In week three, we're gonna publish it. In week four, four I can start promoting it. Right? Do you guys get that? So we're just really literally breaking it down. And then you're in a place where it's like every day I'm taking a small step, a micro step. But if you look at the big picture, that means we're going to achieve our year goal. Right? That means we're getting closer to the year goal because every day we're taking a conscious step towards the right direction. Right? Cool. This will also be in the worksheet, guys. So you can, of course, do this even further. You can do this for multiple goals, not just one goal. Do it for multiple goals. And then you have a very clear action steps. You can set all the goals and the plans in the universe, of course. But again, 9% that's going to succeed. So the question is, how can we make sure that you are in that 9%, right? That you are part of that 9%. And we are going to do that. And there's two things that you can do from here. So option number one is 
of course, after we finish, you can leave this webinar. You can try everything yourself and you can hope that you succeed. Or option number two is you can choose to make sure that you are not going to be part of the 91% that doesn't succeed by eliminating certain gaps, right? Certain proven gaps now. And if we fill those gaps, then you have way more chances to be part of the percentage that's going to succeed, right? So there are a few points that are proven why people don't succeed in their new year resolutions. Okay. This is from research. These four points are that people, A, they don't have a clear roadmap on how to succeed and what to do. Right. And I'm talking about really clear step-by-step -step roadmap. So, two, they don't have support or a person to ask questions. Then you're more likely to give up. Number three is you don't have accountability. Who's going to check if you're actually doing it? Who's checking in if you're okay? You know, and number four, you might not have like-minded people around because like, you know, Bianca just said, <laughs> if everyone around you tells you your goals are not possible and you shouldn't be trying it and this and that, how more likely are you to give up when it gets tough? You know, these four points, roadmap, support, accountability, and community. These are the gaps, okay? And if we fix those, you have more likeliness to succeed because the hard reality is if we don't fix them, a lot of us might already be forgotten about our goals by March in three months, you know? That's reality. This obviously why we created Laptop Lifestyle Master Program, right? And now guys, again, drop in the chat if you're an LMP student, drop LMP because I'm so proud of you. You guys are obviously, you have this system. You've already created it, completed it. You know, you've already crushed it, which is awesome. Um, so we created this program, which is literally like a modern day study, right? So this is something that is going to help you, of course, stay accountable. And this is that conscious part that is going to help you to actually take ownership of your goals and achieve them, right? And to take conscious action every day to, to make progress. So. The first part roadmap. So of course we have the LMP roadmap. Okay. We have developed the system that has been proven over and over and over again, that if you follow this roadmap, you're going to get the same results as everyone else. Okay. Because for every cause, there's an effect, right? So every effect has a cause, every effect that you want, anything on your wish list, there is someone who has that and we can explain you how they got it. It's a formula. Okay. So we have this amazing roadmap, of course, that you follow. Then the roadmap is of course translated into our course material. So there is modules, there's assignments, there is feedback that you get on assignments. There is a roadmap to follow. So you don't sit in front of your computer and you think, okay, this is my goal, but um, how do I get there? Yeah. No, you know what to do every single day. You know what to do, right? Then we have. Of course, so much people that have followed the roadmap and that have gotten the results, right? That they want to achieve. Why? Because they all follow the same roadmap, right? They all follow the same roadmap. They got the same results. Now, then the second gap is the support. So of course we have coaching calls. We have workshops. You get feedback. You have a one-on-one -on -one channel with coaches for three months so that you can ask any questions you have. We even keep you accountable and some people don't even, you know, are like, why do you keep messaging me? But we are literally there to kick you in the ass, right? <laughs> Bianca is laughing and Ari. Um, but yeah, our coaches are messaging you like, yo, where's your homework? What are you doing? You know, we are there to keep you accountable because again, we know that this is the biggest pitfall into not succeeding, you know, especially if you start a new business and if you're new to it. So we are literally chasing you to make sure that you are taking action, we're keeping you accountable. And then we even have an accountability channel on Discord as well, where people post their goals. They have accountability body. So a body that you can call with every week, right? So that you can ask questions, you can support each other, keep each other accountable. And then we have a community. Hey, these are all people who all want the same as you. They all want to work online, become high ticket freelancers. They all want to leave their nine to five and they support you and they make you see that it is possible and that you're all like minded. Right. And we have, of course, amazing discord community with so many channels where you can literally ask anything and people will be there to help you. People will be there to cheer you on. These are literally 
solving all of these gaps. And of course, we did that for a reason because I've been there, you know, I've been there, I've done it, you know, and, and I know the struggles. I know what, where, where people drop off and why, and why people don't succeed. So if you follow these things, you are more likely to be in that 9% that's going to achieve their new year's resolutions actually this year. So if you've ever thought about working online and quitting your nine to five, becoming a high ticket freelancer, scaling your freelancing business, if you have one already, then this is really the time now to invest in yourself and to make sure that you achieve your goals in 2024, right? Because then you have the support, the accountability, the roadmap, the community to help you get there, which is going to make the biggest difference. Now, I thought as well, actually, um, what can we do for people on this webinar, right? What can we do for them? So we extended Ooh. our new year's promo a little bit, right? But I cannot do this for very long because my team already said yet, you know, no more. <laughs> Can't do more people. But what we're going to do, if you guys, right, obviously want to learn more about Laptop Lifestyle Master Program for the people who are not uh, obviously your students yet, you can book a call now via the link that we're dropping in the chat, okay? And what you will get if you book through this link, you still get the 10% off of the Laptop Lifestyle Master Program. Of course, access to our Better Than Money Back Guarantee and to the new 4.0 updated version. We just dropped the link, guys. And I'm only going to do this for like 10 spots or so. Um, we're going to see how it goes. But, you know, as I said, we don't do this often. Normally I don't extend it, but I was like, okay, for people who actually took the time to show up to today's call, I want to do something special. Okay. So you can book this free discovery call. If you want to learn more about our program, you have nothing to lose. It's going to be super fun to chat with Iris actually, uh, who I think is also on this call. And, uh, you know, it's really, really a great, uh, yeah, opportunity to learn if this could be something for you, right. Or program now. What I think would be great as well, because we have so many students here actually on this call. So uh, let me have a look. Actually, I think Victoria is on. Um, let me see. Where is she? Victoria, are you still on? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> oh, awesome. Cool. Nice. So Victoria, guys, is also one of our students. You know, she's actually uh, joined us a, a longer time ago, but she's been crushing it uh done over like well over 5k months um yeah what would you tell people if they're thinking about you know becoming a freelancer and and maybe joining the program for the new year cool yeah i will definitely say do it because you'll never regret it i mean honestly it was like the best business decision i've made um i remember when i started my freelancing journey i was kind of like completely lost, you know, mm -hmm. I didn't know, like I didn't have this roadmap that the LLMP offered. So when I joined, it's kind of like all the ideas I had in my mind finally became tangible, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think the best part was definitely the community and the support you get from all the coaches, because I, I mean, it really makes you want to take action, you know? Mm -hmm. So after I joined, like many things changed in my life. I was able to travel more. Um, and the biggest accomplishment for me is that this year I was able to move to a beautiful building in my dream area in, in Mexico City where I live. So it's kind of like, wow, <laughs> I think if I never joined the LMP, I, I wouldn't have been able to achieve all those things. So I'm very, very grateful. Yeah. Amazing. Love that. Yeah. Thanks so much for sharing, you know, and uh, yeah, it's, it's been really cool to see your journey and um, yeah, super excited for everything you're gonna, you're gonna, you know, keep achieving as well in the new year and scaling further to an agency. It's super, uh, super exciting. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> nice. Cool. Awesome. And then maybe I think we have Ari as well on the call. Let me see where is Ari at? Yes, there. I can see you. Ari also was a student of ours. Now she's also helping us in the coaching department. But yeah, you know, what, what would you say to people um, that are obviously thinking about becoming a freelancer? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I would say go for it. Um, don't even think about it twice. Like, mm -hmm. honestly, you have nothing to lose. 
if you don't take action now, um, three months, six down, down the line, you're going to think about, oh, what would have happened if I had joined LLMP? I, I would be at a different spot right now, right? Um, mm -hmm. So I think that really think about your why and think about um, where you want to be and where you want to go in 2024. Um, honestly, LLMP changed my life, right? I was able to quit my nine to five. Um, I quickly got my ROI and got to 4K in as mm. little as three months, which was yeah. unattainable. I thought I was not, it was impossible. It was, I was not going to be able to achieve it, but mm. I did. I did. Um, I followed the roadmap, the community, the coaches, the support. It is incredible you guys um everybody is there to cheer you on push you forward it is amazing so i think that you know this is a sign for you to book that call and you know change your lives for the better and <laughs> you know 2024 is around the corner so yeah don't don't think about it twice just just do it yeah also thank you for sharing ari love that yeah also super inspiring journey you know uh and obviously how how quick you know as well you landed clients when you started with us so that's um that's amazing but it's true guys like literally in three months time you could change your life forever you know but you do have to take action you do have to go for it so 100 percent. if you haven't had that call with us yet right um 100 make sure that you book it now because we will not leave it open for a long time and it's a special link from the webinar, you know, so that we know that you guys came from here. So we will honor, of course, the offer um, that I've just presented. So yes, super excited for you guys to, to speak to our team and to really go for it. Um, I think it is going to be something that obviously you have to take opportunities as well. But this is something that can change your life forever. And with so much support, it's really a no brainer. Definitely. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Okay. So. Now that we spoke about this, um, one thing to remember is that this is honestly the best time to start. Why? Because everyone is going online and most specifically 2024, there's going to be so much demand because just how you set goals for yourself, imagine what businesses set for goals for 2024. They set goals like, I want to hire a copywriter. I want to hire a social media manager. I want to build a new website. I want to do more for marketing. So. <laughs> If you start now, right, you can literally start offering your services in the new year. Um, so the longer you wait, the longer you're going to miss out on obviously, you know, making that income. Plus, these businesses already have set out a budget for 2024. They already have a budget allocated. So if you are not going to become a high ticket freelancer, then someone else will, who actually did book the call today and took action. All right. So no excuses. Let's go. Let's book a call. See if obviously the program is something for you, and then let's make some uh, let's make some music together, right? Let's do it. Okay. So links in chat one more time. After that, this link will not be used anymore. So let's go. Awesome. Cool. Okay. Now, a little drum roll. Actually, going to discuss the winners of the prize, right? So as you guys know, we're doing a contest and every week we are releasing a winner. This is the first one we are releasing. So many amazing prizes. So even after this call, guys, feel free to still join, to still obviously unlock all the cool incentives. And the first prize that we are giving away for this contest is actually the three month business coaching program. And I think literally just before this call, we put everyone through a selector. My team did that and we have found our first winner. So we put it in this tool. You can see so many names, right? It's crazy. Um, okay. Awesome. So, congrats to Momo. Um, I think from Italy. Yeah. Dot, dot it. We're going to reach out to him. Obviously, we verified that uh, he did all the actions and everything. So he's the first winner from our contest. And um, yeah, we will keep updating the updates from obviously who is the winners, right? 
so many chances still for you guys to win a lot of stuff so make sure that you join the contest if you haven't already and then now um the worksheet okay so i've prepared the worksheet for this class so that you can still continue and do this uh, obviously in your own time make it more in depth more detailed so what you only thing you have to do is go to our instagram jet van wyk or laptop lifestyle master and just message us the word worksheet okay you can do it right now grab your phone message yeah it has to be on phone by the way message your word worksheet and then you should receive a message from us right now uh, with the template the template has links it has more templates and you can definitely either print it or you can directly then open it in canva um, and you can use it on canva as well and fill it out there but i have learned though from some uh, sessions that it is better to write with pen and paper because you know you keep more actually in you remember things better and again it's like a link to the subconscious so i would prefer to print it out and do it actually handwritten but um yeah okay cool of course from our whole team of laptop lifestyle master we wish you guys happy holidays and happy new year um definitely take today tomorrow right to do more reflections to build that wish board to build that vision board and i would love it if you could share your vision board to your stories and tag us because i would love to see the creations you guys make honestly you know always makes me so excited when i see uh, when i see it plus again if you post it it's out there you know so it's extra accountability so make your vision board and then tag me in the story share it and i would love 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 to see it uh, what you guys create right and then of course you know um i really hope to see obviously if you guys are not a student yet to see some of you guys join our program and um, get your certificates land clients crush it so make sure to book that call before spots run out and for now i wish you guys a lot of love excited to see you guys creations uh and then uh, we're gonna speak to each other of course hopefully if you're already a student on the calls that are gonna happen in the new year i hope to see you guys there uh and for the rest any questions you can always message us on instagram and for our students of course make sure to message us on discord yeah awesome cool okay guys then lots of love and uh, then I wish you all a happy new year. Cool. Awesome. Okay, guys. Have a good one. See you.